characters. So the first thing you're going to do is go to System Preferences and now you're going to go to International. You're going to go to Input Menu and you're going to select right here Keyboard Viewer. So uh, you can close this down now. Now you see this small icon right here. So I'm going to put a uh, show keyboard viewer and I'm going to open the text type. And now you can see uh, that now I, now I now have a small keyboard right here. Um, so you can easily type, uh, use this to type if you don't have a keyboard. But you can also use it to uh, see special characters. So um, I'm going to press command for example. And well nothing comes up. But if I press option you can see all the special characters that pop up when I click on the corresponding uh, characters so um, I don't know if I can make it yeah I can, I can make this bigger so I'm gonna press option you can see um, the highlighted uh, key is the one I'm pressing in this moment and you can see um, all the all the characters uh, change when I press option so for example if I press option 2 which would be this one um, I'm gonna put the trademark logo so there I press it and you can see I press the and the trademark uh, icon pops up so if I press it and I press um, this icon which would be a G if I press uh, option G while I'm writing a document you can see the copyright icon uh, pops up so also if you um, well, shift uh, control. I mean, nothing happens. Shift, nothing happens. Um, option shift, nothing. Um, but if you press shift and option together, uh, you have more characters available. So you can also type the Apple uh, logo, which is very used. Um, this icon that looks like a percentage. I don't know what it means. The euro icon. Um, more icons. Any icon you want. Uh, so it's a very uh, cool trick to to see special characters. Also, you can uh, put this um, put this window uh, when you're doing a tutorial like the ones I do to uh, help people see what keys you're typing in. Also, when you press Option, I'm going to delete this. Also, when you press Option, you can see you have these orange. Um, characters so for example um, this one the tilde so if you press uh, the N you press N and the tilde comes up uh, right there highlighted in orange then I let go option and I press N again you can see that it now turns to an N -E. so uh, for example I press uh, this icon right here the tilde and um, now I press any uh, vocal I want. So for example, A, E, I, O, U. So I press I and you can see it now has a, a tilde. Um, so that's it for this tutorial guys and thank you for watching.